Hello folks, tonight I am going after the Pelican Nebula. Now I captured this last year as part of a wide field shot with the North American Nebula, but now I want to zoom in a little bit more on just the Pelican. And I'm using my big refractor, but with the reducer so I can capture more of that Pelican. And I've already captured over seven hours of HA and over seven hours of oxygen, and I'm just starting on the uh, um, sulfur. And right now my mean readout is 756. I'm doing uh, four minute exposures. And my gain in often is 13921. I sound a little stuffed up. I I don't have my Benadryl. I ran out. Benadryl usually clears me up, so I sound pretty bad right now, I feel. Ugh. But oh, another, another image just came through. Let's take a look at what it looks like. And you can sort of see that ridge where I would expect it to be gold. That's where the sulfur, that's where I would have expected the sulfur on the pelican to show up. And uh, let's take a look at my guiding really quick. I got something else I want to show you too. Um, uh, see, guiding is, let's see, 0.87. Yeah, that's about right. And my image scale is 1.03. So yeah, this should be definitely good enough to get me round stars. Got these little extra lines going up top here now. I think I turned those on with the settings, star mass and star S S and R. I don't really pay much attention to them, but they look kind of cool drifting high above everything else, so I'll just leave it there. <laughs> but I wanted to show you that is my latest capture. This is the butterfly nebula IC thirteen eighteen. I actually. Uh, showed you the HA for this when I was first talking about adding a reducer to my telescope. That's why I didn't really have a, a separate video for this. I felt well, I had already covered it in that video, but this is what the final image looks like. I thought it came out pretty good. Now, it, it doesn't look like a normal Hubble image where you have gold and blue, because what I notice is the sulfur was strong across the whole image. Normally, a sulfur is strong around the edges, and then you get the, the oxygen on the inner part. But this time, when the, the sulfur was so strong, I don't think I had much of a chance to get blue. The combination of strong HA and strong sulfur kind of overshadowed my oxygen and it produced mostly this gold image. But I kind of like it. I, I was talking to Doug, and he said maybe I could have kept piling on layers of my my oxygen data over and over but I'm I'm not my skills aren't that real aren't that good with Photoshop yet to be able to do that I need to learn more about that but um, I'll settle for this gold image right now I think it looks pretty cool I retained a lot of sharpness and detail you know if you zoom in a little bit I got a little bit of a halo going on on the bright stars but that's okay I thought this uh, image is really cool looking and I definitely want to put this on metal I can't wait to see it and uh, I'll be back when I've got the the, pen, the pelican all finished, so or at least all the data captured. So I'll see you later. Okay, so I finished capturing data, and I ended up with around 20 hours of data. And this is what my HA looks like. This is eight hours of HA. I was using my reducer to to fit more of the pelican in a single frame, and. This is what my oxygen looks like. Now this is after I, I had already run a dynamic background extraction and an automatic background extraction. And I even increased the data a little bit with curves. It was a little bit weak, so I did that before the combine. And this is what my sulfur looks like. So I didn't run any background extraction on the HA or the sulfur, only the oxygen. Because it, it needed it. And let me show you what my combine looked like. So I went through a lot of different combinations on the combine. You know, should I should I mix 50% HA in this channel with 50% sulfur and this and that? And I couldn't come up with anything I like, so you're not going to believe this. I actually just put 100% sulfur in red, 100% HA in green, and 100% oxygen in blue. Normally I, I mix up the percentages, but like I said, this time 
I, I, I just went with a, a straight mapping, 100% in each channel. It, I, it just didn't look good, no matter what I tried. And um, I don't mind if it comes up looking mostly green. I can work with that in Photoshop. <coughs> and this is what the final image looked like. I rotated it. And I'm pretty satisfied with it. I may change my mind in a day or two like I normally do, but for now I think it looks pretty good and I put this one in Astrobin. And let me show you Photoshop really quick because there's really no magic formula that I have to go from the one on the left to the one on the right. But in Photoshop, so for example, here's my combine. I would do something like this. Uh, I would go into Image, Adjustments, and Selective Color. This is my favorite tool. And from here, I would sort of select on the green. And then I just start playing with the levers. What makes something look better? Uh, what if I turn down the yellow? You see how it starts to go more cyan there? You see, I just keep playing with the levers. And I keep going through iterations until I get to the colors I like. Oh, in here, let's maybe we can turn up the, the color here on the yellow. So I selected yellow. And now you can see that this turning more gold-like. Something like that. And you see how this is magenta right here. I don't like magenta. So I would select on magenta. Let's turn that magenta down. So you see now we got that's real magenta. Now we're turning that down. So stuff like that. And then I just hit OK and I go through another iteration. That A lot of times this is what I end up doing. Um, on this one, uh, my changes are pretty drastic to come up with a final version of that. A lot of times I don't have to go mess with it too much, but I did this time. So that's all I got. And uh, check out the very end of the video. Uh, I had a little visitor, you know, running around or walking around my setup uh, the other night. So that, that's kind of fun to watch. And I will see you guys later.